Search engines like Google, blocking platforms like Medium are already imposing restrictions on the use of AI-generated text. In addressing this, Edward Tian, a student over at Princeton University, created a tool called GPT-0 over the weekend during the New Year holiday. And the tweet announcing this new tool has gone viral with over 7 million tweets. In a nutshell, GPT-0 was created in Python using the Streamlit Web Framework, and it accepts input text, perform processing, and output the likelihood of the text being generated by AI or whether it is written by a human. And you could access the tool at gpt0.me or the direct link of the GPT-0 app hosted on the Streamlit Community Cloud, and links are provided in the video description. So let's have a look at the GPT-0 app. Go to gpt0.me, hit on enter, and then you want to scroll down, and then you click on the try it button. And this will take you to the GPT app hosted on the Streamlit Community Cloud. So upon loading, you're going to see this app, and there's an input box here that you could enter the text of interest, and then it will make its analysis. So let's go ahead and find a text to put here. So let me use this, explain quantum computing in simple terms. So the example provided here, copy the text. And let's enter the text in here in the text box, command enter. And the analysis indicated that the text perplexity has a value of seven and that text with lower perplexity values are more likely to be generated by language models. So the value here is rather low. It has already finished analyzing the text. You can click here to get the results. So it's saying here that your text is more likely to be AI generated. And so I hope that this was helpful to you and please support the channel by smashing the like button, subscribing if you haven't already, and also turn on notifications to be notified of the next video. Happy streamlitting.